Hey everybody, Luke here, and today's video is all about hip surgery and some simple things you can do before surgery that'll make your recovery process after surgery a little bit quicker and a little bit easier. So keep that in mind as we're going throughout the video. We're not talking about the surgery itself necessarily or what you're gonna do after, but specifically what you can do in that month or two leading up to surgery, that's gonna make the whole process after surgery that much easier. So I've got three tips that we're gonna go through. Um, today. So the first one is before surgery on your hip is you want to strengthen the hip muscles as much as you can and the whole leg in general. So um, what happens before hip surgery for a lot of folks is that since the hip is so painful it can really throw off the way you walk and the way you move because it's painful to put weight on that leg. And so as that happens not only does the hip get weak all the surrounding muscles with the hip get weak and the core um, but the knee muscles get weak and the ankle muscles get weak. Now obviously after surgery you're going to work on strengthening because hopefully the pain is going to be much improved after, you know, whatever the recovery process is like when it is painful. Um, but so ultimately you're going to want to reestablish full strength in your hip, full strength in your core, your knee and your ankles. So as much as you can leading up to surgery, again, in the month or two prior, if you can start to work on strengthening those muscles comfortably, it's going to make the recovery process that much easier. So I'm not going to go into details on the exercises today, um, but I've got lots of videos on hip strengthening, knee strengthening, ankle strengthening. And the thing I would keep in mind, as you're going through this before surgery is that obviously you're not trying to make your hip feel worse so just keep all those muscles or all the exercises comfortable so again strengthen your hip core knee ankle as much as you can prior to surgery so that's tip number one the second tip then is that you want to use um, a cane or a walking stick or something like that uh, to keep your walking as symmetrical and normalized as possible so again if you look at someone with a painful hip before surgery, a lot of times they're going to start shifting their weight away from that hip when they stand and when they walk and when they move, just simply because it hurts. And so what happens is they start limping around, their mechanics are thrown off and things like that. So if that same person can use a cane or a stick, um, typically on the opposite arm as the, as the painful hip, to keep all of that stuff normal and symmetrical, it's going to, um, it's going to make their life much easier after surgery. Because again, after surgery, you're going to start working on those things and you're going to try to normalize your patterns and get symmetrical and things like that. So use what you need to use. Again, it could be a walking stick or a cane. Use what you need to use to try to keep your, yourself in line and symmetrical as much as you can. So that's tip number two. Uh, the last tip I want to give you, which is going to be a quick video, but, um, is that before hip surgery, kind of even before that, is that if you need hip surgery, just try to decide quickly, um, as opposed to just delaying it and delaying it. Now, sometimes you want to delay hip surgery because you know you're not you know rushing into surgery. Obviously, surgery is always the last result for anything. But if it comes down to the point where you've tried you know conservative care, you've tried PT, um, you know you've some, done some injections and things like that, but the hip really just requires surgery. In my opinion, the sooner you can just make that decision and get down and, and get it done, the less likely you are to, to have to deal with some of the other um, potential side effects, like when you start shifting your weight away from your bad hip and it throws off your back and now you're dealing with back pain and sciatica or you're dealing with a knee issue or because you've shifted the weight away from your right hip over to your left leg, now your left leg is hurting. So again, um, I'm just offering that tip because there's a lot of things that can happen if you delay hip surgery for too long can throw off a lot of things again from your back to your knee so if you end up really needing surgery i think it's just good to make the decision as quickly as you can again obviously try to all of your conservative measures whatever you can to avoid surgery definitely a proponent of that but if it comes down to it and you need surgery just try to make that decision quickly so those are your three tips for hip surgery i hope it helps and if you have any more questions or specific things you want me to, to talk about just leave a comment below the video or send me an email thanks for watching